Just listen to, I don't, I'm gonna learn. We like to bring songs to you. You know what else we like Old to bring? New. Look at that segue. A Netflix review. Yes, All right. Yes. I'll let you kick it off, T. All right, we're kicking off things with a new series called On the Verge. The show follows four middle aged women navigating life in pre pandemic Los Angeles. Stars Elizabeth Shue, you remember her? Julie Delpy, Sarah Jones, and Alexia Lando. Switching career in your 40s as a woman. Switching careers in your 40s as a woman. You know how you have one of those yeah. days and it just feels like everything is collapsing all around you? And then all of a sudden, it's just fine again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit of shoe there, right? Yes. All right, I, so you watch this. I didn't get a chance to I yet. I binge watched this. This wasn't just like, you know, casually watching over the last couple of weeks. A little it short was like series. two days of just hard watching. It's incredible. Now, if you, I, I always say this is kind of like a, like entourage a little bit later, but with the women, but not as raunchy. Okay. 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 Um, we mentioned it takes place in LA. Just like, you know, middle aged, 40 year old women. And struggles. Year -old women, struggles, life, relationships, kids, all of it. It okay. is so good. Okay. And it's an easy watch. Okay. It's fun to watch. And I think to anybody who's, I would say, over 35 is just going to love this regardless. It is just that fun of a show. All right. Watch it. A, A plus? A plus. Okay. Very well done. Next up is action movie Kate. It follows a ruthless assassin in Tokyo, played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead, as she has less than 24 hours to find out who ordered a hit on her. Take a look. The grand honcho of the Yakuza. Ooh, Woody Harrelson, too, is in this here. Barely. So, um, this is not for kids. This is a little graphic. Very graphic. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was like, ooh. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I enjoyed the intensity of it. Mm -hmm. I'll say B+. Plus. I'll say B-. minus. Oh, yeah. It wasn't yeah. bad. And I generally like assassin movies. <laughs> okay. Where does that sound? Okay. Yeah, it just, it just, it was kind of slow. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. If, you're, if you're into that kind of action-packed stuff, then you want to check that one out. Right. That's called Kate. Last on our list is Penguin Bloom, starring Naomi Watts. Film follows a mom coping with an accident when she gains a new family member in a magpie. She's a wild bird. She doesn't want to be stuck inside, does she? Okay. It's based in Australia, mm -hmm. and it's also based on a true story. Yeah, this one is a little bit older. It's been on Netflix for a little bit of time now. But I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. There are a couple parts that are a little bit slow, but it's just a very touching, true yes. story. Yeah, and I cried. I did too. Yeah. I did too. It's a, it's a tear jerker. A. For a super sweet story. I give it an A. And I, I, give it, it, I give it an A as well. Especially if you are trying to overcome something, yeah. and you feel hopeless, this may pick you up. I, and I, yes, but I also think it's great for the kids. Yes. It's a fun, 